Alrighty guys, welcome back to another sweet Git tutorial and in this video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to undo changes to your working directory. So why would we ever want to do that? Well, let me go ahead and give you guys an example. So say that we just got this sweet new site developed called Dogs and it's pretty apparent by looking at it that it's going to be the next big thing. Probably a little bit bigger than Facebook, but you know, we ain't sure yet. Somewhere around there. So of course what we need to do is we need to start hiring developers to expand this website. So we get the best developers there are out there and uh, what he does is we hire him and he comes in and he's like, okay, well here's the thing. He actually lied on his resume and he isn't the best developer. He's actually a tomato can and he has no idea what he's doing. So the first thing he does is he starts messing up our website by renaming these images to like uh, picks or something because he doesn't even know that it doesn't matter he thinks you can just change it to the same name whatever so he's like alright let me just go ahead and save this do 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 eating potato chips looking at this website now and check it out the entire website's messed up the home page is freaking not working because he renamed a bunch of stuff and he wasn't supposed to so we're like dude you're fired get out of here we don't need you anymore but we still have this website that's messed up. So what we need to do now is we need to basically turn whatever files he was working on in the working copy and we pretty much need to take the files from the repository which remember are the good files and replace them with whatever files he messed up here. So how do we do that? Well the first thing that we could do is we could type git status and hit enter so we are reviewing his working copy and we can see that he only messed up modified it said but we really know it means he messed up one file index.html so again what we would like to do is take the files from the repository which is the main project files which are the good files and we need to replace them so we can get our working copy back in the condition that we want it so how do we do that pretty freaking easy what we can do is hit git checkout dash dash space index.html and hit enter and what this did is it basically this is what checkout means checkout means take something from the repository and make it your working copy so it pretty much took that file index.html from the repo and it made it your working copy and what this dash dash actually does is it has to deal with branches and we'll talk more about branches later but I just want to mention it because I didn't want you guys to think I'm skipping over it it basically means we're not checking out a branch we're just checking out this one file index.html and again if you don't understand what branches are we're going to be covering them more later but now when we type git status and hit enter it says your working copy is now the same as your repository if we look at our website and refresh it our home page is now fine again basically what it did is it took our working copy and it overwrote all the files with the good files from the repository so that again is how you undo changes whenever you mess up files in your uh, working directory and how you get the good files from the repository or any old versions back so um thank you guys for watching very simple tutorial but definitely useful so uh well that's it i'll see you next time